FIFA 19, I want to make the most competitive league in the world. So I took five of the world's best countries um, for national teams and leagues. And those countries are in Germany, France, Italy, and Spain. So I took the national teams from those countries and their four best teams with the exception of Spain. And I took their three best teams because you can only do 24 in a league. So I'm just going to go through the league real quick. It's stacked. It's um, <laughs> amazing. It consists of AS Monaco, Atletico Madrid, Bayer Leverkusen, Bayern, Dortmund, England, Barca, France, Germany, Inter, Italy, Juventus, Liverpool, Man City, Man United, Milan, Napoli, OLOM, PSG, Leipzig, Real, Spain, and Spurs. So we're just going to go right through and sim the first 10 games and get back to them. So it's the end of match day 10. Um, I'm just going to have a look at the table. So, the top bit is not very surprising. We've got France, Real, Bayern, Spain, Man City, Man United, Germany um, in 7th. That's a bit unexpected. Liverpool, Leverkusen in 9th. England in 10th. That's a little surprising. Atletico in 11th. PSG 12th. Barca 13th. Spurs 14th. OL 15th. Inter 16th. Dortmund 17th. OM 18th. Juventus 19th. That's pretty unexpected. So then we got Leipzig 20, and then Napoli, Monaco, Italy, Milan. I was not expecting Italy to be in a relegation zone. They're a five-star team. But then again, it is very competitive, but um, I was still expecting them to win <laughs> more of their games. So uh, I'm just going to sim 10 more games. I'll see you guys at match day 20. And to match day 20, we're going to take another look at the table. Um, some places remained untouched, but some places did change. So, Real and Bayern are still top four. Um, then United kind of crept up a little to third. Barca got up to fourth. Atletico got up to fifth. France went down to sixth. I believe Liverpool went down to seventh. City going down. Spain. Germany, um, kind of toward the middle of the table. And Inter, Juventus, um, it got up a little, but still surprising. Then you got PSG, England haven't been doing great, OL, Spurs haven't been doing great, Leverkusen, um, Leipzig. Then Italy made it out of relegation, but um, Dortmund, OM, barely um, avoiding relegation. So then that leaves Monaco, Milan, and Napoli in relegation. Monaco I can kind of understand, but I was surprised with Milan, Napoli, more so Milan. But I still think it's surprising, but then again... Like, there's not a bad team in the league. I mean, the only necessarily, like, bad team I could think of would be Leverkusen, but they're still a four-star team. So, end of match day 20, I believe there will be 48, because each team will play each other twice, and there are 24 of them. So, a little, kind of like two-fifths of the season. So, I'm gonna, I'll see you guys match day 30. And in match day 30, we're going to take our third look at the table. So, Real and Bayern are still first, second. I believe Barcelona and United were in third and fourth last time. Liverpool making a pretty big jump from seventh to fifth. Juventus making a pretty big jump from like the middle of the table to sixth. France, I believe they stayed in seventh. Atletico going down a little. Spain, Germany, PSG. I think Spurs went up. You got Inter, Man City, Leverkusen, Oil towards the middle. Then going towards the bottom of the table, we got Leipzig, England, Italy, Dortmund, OM. Then Monaco, Milan, Napoli have not budged. They are still in relegation zone. Pretty surprising, but it was just gone a little beat up. Just to show you how many games you play. Yeah, um, we're like three fifths of the season in, um, Real have 64 points, and like they're not even ahead by that much. So that's just to give you a little general idea of how insanely competitive and like daunting this league is. So I'll see you guys match day 40. In the match week 40, we're having another look at the table. Real remain in first. Bayern and ba Bayern and Barca switch places. Neither still in fourth. Atletico made it up the table a little at fifth. Liverpool down a little, Spain make it up, um, France go down a little, Juve go down a little. We're going towards the middle of the table, we still have Inter, PSG, Spurs, Germany, 
very unexpected for them to be in the middle of the table. Then we got Man City, Leverkusen, Italy, another unexpected. OL, Dortmund, Monaco made it out of the relegation zone. Um, Leipzig, England, um, kind of like just above relegation zone. And then Milan, OM, and Napoli in relegation zone. So, Milan made it to the top of the relegation zone. Napoli are still dead bottom. And OM managed to make it to the middle. So, I believe there are eight more games left in the season. So, I will see you at the end of the season. Here's how it finished up. So, top three did not change. Real won the league. Um, Barca being the runners up. Then Bayern coming in third. And France pulled together in the end to come in top four. Atletico and Juventus kind of made it up a little. United really dipped towards the home stretch. Liverpool dipped. You still see kind of the same teams mid table Inter, Spain, Spurs, Germany, PSG, City, Dortmund. City, I was very disappointed in them. I thought they would do much better, like even top four, top five. Um, BBB, Monaco, they really rebuilt themselves towards the last um, 20 games. Leverkusen, Italy kind of rebuilt themselves. So then OL, England um, made it up a little, um, but still a very bad finish. Then Leipzig, so that leaves OM, Milan, and Napoli for relegation. So Serie A fans, not your proudest moment. We got two Serie A fans in the relegation zone. And then OM um, will also be relegated. So that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I sure enjoyed it. I think this is like the most competitive league to ever be on earth. And I understand. First of all, you can't really have it because like you'll force a bunch of players, most of the world's top Europe players who play in Europe and who are European, they'll have to um, choose between club and country, which is very tough. And also like you have good teams, even like. Milan, Napoli are good teams, but they should not be relegated from anything. And also, I just noticed that Real actually won by one point. So, the Liga coming in pretty clutch. Premier League, pretty disappointing. Honestly, like, disappointing to watch as a Premier League fan. I mean, the highest finish you got was 7th with United, then 8th with Liverpool, 11th with Spurs, and 14th with City. So, very disappointing from them. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoy making it. So until next time, bye.